everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I trust and hope you're doing great this morning as we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the tropics. So here we can see that there is now post-tropical cyclone Tammy, which is marked by that circle with the X. So it's now post-tropical again. It will eventually dissipate out there. But uh, there we have Invest 96L. Now take a look at this time. This is a bit off schedule for the NHC. Why? Because the system is getting itself together in the 2 a.m. update that formation chance was at around 50 percent and then uh, the national hurricane center bumped it up in a special outlook to 70 percent so it is getting itself together and could become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm very briefly and it has limited time so we'll talk more about that in a moment let's go on to the satellite imagery and here we can see it so there it is right there to the north of puerto rico and we can see still see that there is still some activity scattered across the Lesser Antilles uh, going up to the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And then there is that next big blob coming in from the main development region. So if that sustains itself, then it could bring a rainfall increase to the Lesser Antilles later this week. And by the way, another low pressure area is expected to form in the Southwest Caribbean. Uh, models have been showing it. GFS was actually showing uh, something and being quite bullish with that Cat 5 hurricane and now it is starting to show that again for the same time frame as we're going to be heading into this weekend and into early next week. Going over into the eastern Pacific though there is that cluster of activity which is actually associated with a new tropical depression which formed over there so let's go on to that quickly. This is tropical depression 19 and yes this track is a bit unusual here but it is expected to drift very close to the coast of the Central American territories then I'll make its way back out into the open waters so it it is likely to become a tropical storm acquiring the name Pillar and to make that very close approach. And as such, it is going to be increasing that risk of potential flooding due to the expected heavy rains, especially for portions of southern Guatemala and even to El Salvador as we're going to be heading into Tuesday. Now we're heading over into the uh, back to the Atlantic Basin here and uh, we're taking a closer look at the area. There you can see uh, 96L, Invest 96L uh, trying to really get itself together and all that activity across the Eastern Islands. Not seeing anything too crazy compared to yesterday. Then as we drift further to the west here, we're not seeing a whole lot. Now that broad low pressure area is still in the South Caribbean and as we can see, it is struggling to produce any substantial activity right now. So it hasn't been able to really retain any uh, significant showers and thunderstorms and all that convection and uh, conditions aren't the most conducive ahead either. That is why it is now uh, no longer reflected on that outlook map from the National Hurricane Center as it relates to development. It will be drifted up to the north regardless and so let's move on to the rainfall forecast for today after which we'll talk more about the disturbance. So here we can see that this map gets pretty colorful across some areas which indicates that there could be some periods of very heavy rain so across portions of central america especially near the pacific coast of the various territories there could be some periods of very heavy rainfall through today similar story as we head down to colombia going to portions of venezuela not that high of a chance for the abc islands and uh, the guyanas but there may still be some showers or even some thunderstorms popping up later today as we head to Trinidad, Tobago, even going to Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, Barbados, not seeing that the chance is high compared to before. But then as we head from uh, St. Lucia going northward all the way to Anguilla, so all islands in between, there could be some periods of heavy rainfall here and there. And as we head to the uh, Virgin Islands, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, as well as some parts of Puerto Rico, it's a similar story there. So there may be additional periods of heavy rain as we head through today. And then for Hispaniola going to the Turks and Caicos Islands and even for some spots in Cuba and the Cayman Islands there may also be some showers and thunderstorms popping up and also for Jamaica but uh, that rainfall chance is not super high for Jamaica as we head through today and now let's go ahead and move on to invest 96 L here we can see it so as I said a special advisory was out or a special outlook was issued rather for the system and here we can see it with a high 70% chance of formation and going on to what model are expected in terms of the track of the system we can see here that they're in solid agreement about it continuing to the northwest then making that curve and moving it out to the north 
east. So it's going to be parallel in the Turks and Caicos Islands as well as the Bahamas, not to bring in any crazy impacts there. But if it was moving through, then that would be a completely different story. Thankfully, that's not the case. As we look at the intensity guidance, this green shaded area represents tropical storm force winds. And we're seeing that models are not really expecting that in the short term, it will acquire tropical storm status. However, I really think it has a shot, especially because it is looking so robust on the satellite imagery. It is determined to take advantage of the tiny window of opportunity it has to become a depression or even a storm. And should it reach that threshold to be considered a tropical storm, it will acquire the name Vince, which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season. And so guys, that is the latest on the system. But I also want to bring your attention to the fact that models have been sniffing at something else for men as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this week and going into early next week. Now, I showed you guys GFS last week with that Cat 5 expectation, that major hurricane in the Caribbean. And uh, it was actually for the time frame of this weekend going to early next week. But at the time, as we know, GFS is the only model that goes out that far but it stopped showing that and now it is showing it yet again so let's see what the latest run has to say the zero z run there we can see that low forming as we head into thursday of this week and then as we head into sunday going out a week from now we can see that a uh, tropical storm forming and then making its way into the vicinity of the cayman islands while rapidly intensifying uh going to cat 5 status we see that pressure of 922 millibars and then it makes its way over cuba and into to the vicinity of the Bahamas. Now, do I think there will be a Cat 5? No, I don't. Although I think that there is going to be a pretty solid chance of development once the environment gets conducive enough to allow for that to happen. Going on to the Euro model now, Euro is showing that low pressure area forming and drifting towards Central America. So at the end of the run, it's not showing it, uh, making that curve up. Similar story with the Canadian model here, not showing anything too defined, but definitely has that low pressure area forming and moving toward Central America. It is a similar story with ICOM, but it is showing something quite interesting there, showing that there could be something forming just offshore of the Yucatan, of Mexico and Belize right within that area. So we can see that there are some possibilities on the table and again, development will all be dependent on how conducive conditions are. So we'll definitely have to watch for that next low pressure area to form. GFS is going quite bullish on it. Other models are not showing it being something very strong and showing it drifting toward Central America on that general westward track. So we'll definitely have to watch for it and of course i'm here to keep you guys posted as per usual so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise